Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. Up next in this video is the Frank Frazetta Death Dealer by Mobius Models. This kit has been long awaited. A week prior to the Corps' change of command, 2,000 pounds of bronze found its final resting place at the 3rd Armored Corps headquarters. Jenna Lewis was on hand when the Phantom Warrior was unveiled to the public. It began as a painting created in 1973 by fantasy artist Frank Frazetta and entitled The Death Dealer. Then it evolved into the symbol of America's hammer, the Three Corps Phantom Warrior, as it has been for the last 23 years. The statue was unveiled in a ceremony at the Three Corps headquarters. The rider is a six foot six inch tall warrior and weighs about 625 pounds. The horse and the base on which it stands weighs nearly 900 pounds, a heavy symbol for a heavy maneuver force. The statue's awesome. It's awesome. As the former Corps G3 and now the commander of the 3rd Armored Cavalry Regiment, the eyes and ears of the Phantom Corps, you know, it's a great symbol to have to show the spirit of the mounted warrior. You know, in the cavalry we have a symbol called the Old Bill which is a mounted warrior from the Civil War era. But having this also as another mounted symbol uh, for the heavy force is a great thing, a great symbol for our soldiers to identify with that, you know, this powerful symbol of mounted warfare. From Three Corps headquarters at Fort Hood, I'm Jana Lewis, Three Corps Public Affairs. Welcome back. Let's get a closer look at the box and the art. It's a very large box that it's packaged in. It has a removable sleeve on top that uh, you can take off. Fantastic art by Frank Frazetta. I put a link below where you can visit uh, his Wikipedia site and Frank Frazetta also has a website. I reposted this video because I wanted to remove some uh, copyright music claims that were on this video. If you don't already have this kit, I highly suggest uh, you find one and pick it up. So let's look inside the box here. You can see there's the kit instructions and everything wrapped in plastic here. And we'll go ahead and take these out of the plastic here shortly. A couple smaller other bags of parts. Everything's sealed up nicely. And the last bag there has uh, got a lot of parts in it. And then we have some parts that aren't bagged up. The main body of the horse. And of course the stand. I'll be right back we'll get a closer look. Here's the instructions for the kit. This is the usual style for Mobius models. Uh, color fold out book style instruction step-by-step -step instructions computer generated illustrations very nice painting guide at the end there glowing eyes that's pretty cool and of course a couple more views of the painting guide on the other side back side and the right side
And like I was saying, there's a link to the website there for the Franzetta Museum. Here's the horse body. Measures around eight and a half inches with the tail installed. Great detail here. All the muscles. Very large horse too. And here's the other side. And the horse itself measures around seven inches tall. Here's a close-up of the base. It's 9 by 5 inches. Here's a close-up. Great detail of the skulls, bones, hands. So you can see there's a lot of detail on this base. Room for installing batteries and whatever components you want to light this kit up if necessary. Now let's look at the first sprue. We'll get a closer look. We can see we see the face mask. A little bit of the stirrups there. The back of the head. Very fragile parts, especially the rein there. You'll be careful when you cut that off on the right. There's the spurs. Very detailed, tiny parts here. And this looks like the portion of the left arm, along with the ears for the horse. They give some chain for his scabbard. Here's the tail of the horse along with the shield. The big thing about building this kit is you're going to have to do a lot of seam filling, sanding, but it's not too bad. It goes together pretty well. I attached a card to the upper right for part one of my build and part two of my builds. So look for those cards stuck in this video. As I'm reposting this, I'm adding new features. Now we have portions of the rear legs and the death dealer's legs. So all the legs assemble in pieces but they seem to assemble with what we call a natural line to the body of the horse. And after I glued the legs together, I didn't lose much detail there. It wasn't too bad, like I said. You're still going to want to fill some of the seams. These would be the front legs and the other halves of the Death Dealer's legs. So a lot of detail, very large horse 
represented there. And the next sprue, we get the portions of the cape, main body with his necklace, back side of his body, his sword and scabbard, right hand, and the very famous axe. I uh, modified my axe a little bit to look more like the artwork. So, like I said, go over to my next videos for this. And there's part of his cape right there. Getting the cape to fit on the body was a little bit of a challenge here. Uh, I had to do some sanding and some extra gluing, but you can see this is uh, the artwork here. Here's his left arm. These are close-up still shots of the kit. You can see the detail that went into this. It's, it's very nice. My good friend uh, Gilbert Mondragon already built this. And uh, I think I feature some of his build in my part two or part three of this. So like I said, head over to my next and you'll see Gilbert's build. He did a fantastic job and won an award with it. So right now my kit is sitting on the shelf. It's what I call a shelf queen. And I really need to get it back on the bench and finish it up. It needs to be painted. I started some of the painting. Hopefully I'll get that done this year for you and you guys will see my finished result of this kit because it is a fantastic kit. I thought it was such a good kit that I picked up a couple more of them so they've got them in the stash for future projects. and uh, the detail of the base here. It's exquisite. You can do what you want with it. Uh, no specific color callouts for this. You can use your artistic license for that. And of course the horse is just a fabulous piece of work there on the horse. And uh, you know, what more can I say about this kit? It's definitely worth getting very large, it stands very tall. I think it stands about 15 inches total, 15 to 16 inches total, built up. There's some of the art from the promotional lit literature and some of the previous builds, uh, sneak peek at Wonderfest there. And again, some promotional material. They came out with a limited edition for this and of course the real statue that's on display at Fort Hood in Texas. Very impressive. I was kind of surprised how very little photographs were available on the internet showing that statue at the time of this filming. But there you have it. I'm very honored to show you this kit. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. So that was The Death Dealer. in one-tenth scale. Thanks for watching. Happy modeling, everybody. Take care.